Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Dohid once again with an interesting topic, the difference between research methodology, research methods, and research design. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. So what is research methodology? What is research method? And what is research design? These terminologies bother a new student, a new researcher. And I know so many people who have been confused with these terminologies. I myself was the one when I started my career. So I want to share the idea with you so that you don't ever confuse these words. So let's talk about the research methodology versus research method versus research design. Before we begin, just remember that the language of research is not actually English language. It is written in English way, but it is not English language. If you understand it, you will remember the definitions. So let me tell you the definitions first, and then we will give an example. I'll talk about an example, and then you will understand what these three things are all about. Research methodology. As I stated before in my previous video on research methodology, that research methodology has two definitions. One is the common definition, the process, the, uh, the, the way of doing your research systematically, how you do your research systematically. That's research methodology. But I, I mentioned that my favorite definition is the concept behind your research, the philosophy behind your research, the why of your research, the justification behind your research. In actually, uh, or I would say actually, the motivation behind your research. And I like this definition better because it digs deeper into the why. And many scientists prefer this definition as well. So now this is research methodology. But now what is research design and research method? So let's talk about research method first. So now don't confuse research methodology with research methods. They are different things. Now what are research methods? Research methods are the tools and the techniques used for your research. Tools and the techniques. Now the third thing is research design. Research design is the plan, the blueprint of your research. So these are the basic definitions. Now how do we differentiate it? I will give you an example now. Let's say you are conducting an experiment in a lab and you have discovered a medication to treat COVID-19. So now let's say there is a COVID-19 patient, coronavirus, and you have discovered medication. Now your supervisor comes to you and says, hey, what is your research methodology? And you start to translate it in English and you start to tell him the method. That I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. And your supervisor says, no, incorrect definition. Now he says, okay, what is your research design? Oh, sorry, research method. You start to tell him the method again because you're translating in English. I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. And your supervisor says, no, this is not a definition. This is not the definition. Now, you, uh, your supervisor says, okay, what is your research design? And you say, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do that. And now you're still confused. Will the supervisor say good or bad? And supervisor says, very good. This is research design. Now you're confused. What does that mean? Why did he not agree to the two terminologies before? Research methodology, research method. And But now he says, yes, it's good for research design. So now we'll give an example. Now let's understand this. Your supervisor comes to you. You have discovered a medication to treat COVID-19 patients. So you are asked, what is your research methodology? So you will tell him the motivation, the why, the justification behind your research. You will say, to treat COVID-19 patients effectively. That's your motivation, that's your why, that's your philosophy, that's your justification, that's your concept behind your research. So now supervisor will say, very good. Now what are your research designs? Oh, sorry, what are your research methods? So now you say, Research methods are the tools and the techniques. So you say, okay, 
I have the pill, yes, the pill, the, I have the patient, I have the control group, I have computer, I have a software for data analysis, data analysis technique, I have a Python software, I have the Python software, R language, whatever, and I have a consent form, I have these things, so the tools and the techniques that you will use for your project. When you tell him and he says, very good, qualitative or quantitative, you can have either qualitative and quantitative methods. That's a different story. We'll discuss that in detail in the in one of the next videos. But right now, I just want you to understand the concept. Now the supervisor says, what is your research design? And you say, first of all, I will have the patient sign the consent form. Then I will give him the medication, give him water, we'll drink water with the medication. Now we'll monitor the patient X, Y, Z, and we will record the findings, we'll analyze the data. Then we will use the software. We will have the data analysis done. We will write the report. We'll publish the paper. Now your supervisor says, very good. So you told him the blueprint, the step-by-step -step plan. That's your research design. So now we understand the definitions, research methodology, research methods, and research design. Now I know many of you would still be confused. Now let's take an example of an everyday life. Let's say you want to bake pizza, or you want to cook pizza, a healthy pizza, a vegetarian pizza, so that you can lose weight. So now you have decided to cook pizza and I come to you and I ask you, what is your research methodology? You say to cook a healthy pizza so people and I can lose weight. This is your why, your motivation behind your project. Now I say, very good. Now what are your research methods? Now you say, I have the bread, I have cheese, I have olives, I have onions, I have tomatoes, I have an oven. And that's how I will cook my pizza, I'll make my pizza. So you told me the tools and the techniques needed. That's your ingredients. So I say, very good. Now I ask you, what is your research design? Now you say, first I'll make the bread ready, I'll pour cheese on it. Now the next step is I'll pour olives on it, the onions, and then, uh, then the tomatoes, and then I'll put it in the um, in the oven for 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15, 17 minutes, and then my pizza will be ready. And I will say, very, very good. That exactly is your research design. So what is research methodology? Research method and research design now? Research methodology is why are you cooking your pizza? The motivation behind your pizza cooking, your pizza baking, motivation. Research methods are the ingredients you need for your pizza, the bread, the olives, the onions, etc. Now, what is your research design? The recipe. The recipe of your pizza, the step-by-step -step process, how you will use those research methods and you cook your pizza. That's your research design. So I hope this definition of research methodology and research methods and research design is a good definition for you to remember or are the good definitions for you to remember and I hope you will remember both examples the real lab example and the cooking example watch this video again and if you have any question type a comment below type your question in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can thank you keep watching keep learning before you leave if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button thank you